Hello, welcome Slashers, Night of Crypt here, and welcome back to my channel. I got some more Cult of Chucky stuff to talk about, and before I get into it, I want to first say I really appreciate all the love and support you guys have been giving me. I, I've been, I really appreciate all the fan art you guys have been sending me as well. Again, you guys can send me fan art at my Twitter, and that's at Nightmare Crypt. You, some of you guys might be following me because I know a lot of you guys sent me stuff over there now. But before I get into this, I also want to disclose that I will be accepting anything that is the, in the horror genre. So if there's something that you want to send me that is not Chucky related, but is, you know, something along the lines of horror, then I will still accept it. Whether it's fan art or... If it's like a collection, I will still accept it. So I just wanted to say that real quick. So now if that's all the way, I'm going to showcase the first thing I have for you guys. It's a thing that Kevin sent me. And he said, not sure if this is real, but still want to send it to you. And so it's a Colt of Chucky poster. Now, here's the thing. I don't think it's real. And here's why. It's, it's kind of distorted. And I mean, it looks nice, though. You never know, it could be evil, but, or, I don't know why I said evil, but, I meant to say it could be real, but, it's still, like, it, it looks fake to me, and, I still like it though, it looks really cool. So, that's the first thing I have to showcase to you guys, but this next thing is really interesting. Kevin sent me another thing that says, remember the officer got killed in Curse? Well, he's back in Colt. And so you can see the list of people, and then there's Officer Santon, which is the cop that got his throat slashed in Curse of Chucky. Now, here's what I think. I think they might be using him in a flashback. Um, just remember, IMDP isn't always official, but if he's going to be in this movie, then I'm assuming that there's some type of flashback, and it might get more in-depth. But, I'm not sure. We'll just have to see. I, I think it's going to be a flashback, though. So, this next post, Carpra Cinema sent me, and he says, It's fake. It's a combination of images. Now, I already knew it was fake, but it's pretty cool to see how the photo was made, even though I had an idea that was fake. And I just want to touch into a few things about the image. The, you know the fan made image um, a lot of you guys are saying oh yeah there, there's no freckles you know his eyes look weird he has no eyebrows which he kind of does because I'm zooming in right now and I mean there's patches of like his eyebrow but they're not really visible it's kind of weird and then all you guys are saying oh his hair shorter but here's the thing um the pictures faded so I mean his hair is longer it's just it's an effect that the photo has. But as for freckles, I have no idea. Like I said, it's just a fan-made photo. This isn't official. It's not 100% what Chucky's gonna look like. But it's still really cool that, you know, to know how exactly this photo was made. And I just wanted to show it to you guys because I think it's very interesting. Here's yet again another post that was sent in by Kevin. And after this photo came about... Like, it's actually a photo I showcased a while back, but there's something in the background of it. Um, but after this was sent to me, a lot more of these kind of posts were sent in to me. And I really appreciate you guys sending me all these stuff, all this stuff that you guys have been sending me. But yeah, you guys remember the picture where I had like the Colt to Chucky post and then like Chucky was peeking out, kind of? Well, this photo just sur surfaced where um, there's a Chucky head in the background, as you can see there. And it has no scars. How interesting is that? That's pretty cool. He, he looks pretty good, to be honest. Like, I mean, from what I can make out, he looks pretty cool. What do you guys think of this? This is pretty exciting. Like, I had no idea he was there at all. 
So this is a very interesting discovery made by you guys. So thank you all so much. I'm not sure exactly you caught on to it. I mean, I, I'm thinking maybe it was Kevin because he's the one who sent it in. But it's just a really cool discovery. So for this next post, it was posted by Dom and Cini on Twitter. And it says, Lost in the Corridors of the Mind. That's how making hashtag cold Chucky felt. Hope it will have a similar effect on you. Hashtag Chucky on Drugs, hashtag Surreal. And so you can just see Dom and Cini in the psychiatric hospital. That's pretty sick. I mean, like, I, I hope it has the kind of effect that he's trying to put on us. Like, I, I hope it does have that effect on us because that's very important, you know? So this next photo is really interesting. It's posted by Dom AC and it says, Hashtag Cold to Chucky Rap Party with Summer Howell, which is actually the girl, the, the little girl from Curse. And then, um... Yeah, I don't, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that because I don't know what it is. But yeah, so she is at the the rap party, which is pretty cool. Or she was at it because, you know, by now it's over, but it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's on IMDP. It says that she's gonna be making a return because it's gonna ex explain her. It's gonna kind of get into what happened to Alice. I mean,. If you guys don't know, I did a video talking about the explanation on what happened to her. And if you guys want to, you guys can check that out. It's one of my older Chucky videos. I will put a link down straight the below if I don't forget. But, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. Yeah, she will be returning, it appears. Which is very nice, because even before they started, before he even started writing, Colt, he... He disclosed that this next film would kind of get into why, like, it'd get into what, you know, what happened to Alice. So this next thing isn't really, like, Cult of Chucky news, but it's some, it's, it's a fan art. Like, it wasn't sent in by any of you guys, but it was sent in by an artist and, or, like, some, a fan of, of, you know, Chucky, and I don't know exactly who the guy is, I mean... He, I guess, I guess he has an Instagram and I followed him, but it's, it's pretty cool and I'm going to show it to you guys, it's something that Iron Wolf Network sent me and as you can see, it's, uh, it, like it says like, you know, Cold Chucky, an all new movie and it shows an empty good guys box and if you guys don't remember from the very first child's play, it shows the art on the wall in Charles E. Ray's apartment. This is really cool. I, I, I like this. Like, I honestly hope that this next film gets more into like the voodoo stuff and it, it you know, gets more into his origins, like what Curse did. I really hope it does that because I thought the flashbacks were such a nice touch in Colt Chucky, or not Colt, but Curse. I, I really like the flashbacks and I hope they bring them back in this film. And I'm very excited. So Iron Wolf Network really wanted me to talk about this. It's just a short conversation that I had with Christine Elise. If you guys don't know who she is, she is um, Kyle from Child's Play 2. And so I'm going to showcase what he said to her. Um, I checked to see if it was the real like account because I know some people like to impersonate people and... It's a completely real account, so, like, I I'm gonna go ahead and showcase what, you know, what's in this conversation. Um, he starts off with, hey, Christine, do you mind if I ask you a question about you and the Chucky franchise? And she said, okay, with a few dots. I don't know if you're able to give out this info, but are you going to be a cult to Chucky? There are many rumors, but from what I've heard, you are not, so I'm just double-checking. And so she said, I want to be in it. So, yeah, 100% confirmed she's not going to be in it, sadly. And I, I already saw it coming, so a lot of you guys were telling me that she wasn't going to be in it, which is very unfortunate news. So Kevin sent me this. He said, I know it's a little bit early, but this is going to be the title of hashtag Chucky 8. Nap Chucky. Yeah. I can't wait to see that film. I hope it goes into theaters. 
What do you guys think of that? Nice, huh? I really cannot wait to see this film. So for this next thing, it's a fan theory I could see. Uh, Kyle said, Could Chucky and Tiffany have the plan with Nika of some sort? What I mean is, remember from Bride, there was a ring on the mantle. Tiffany s said how this might play into something because Chucky took Nika's mom on the flashback and curses put all together now. Tiffany and Chucky were together when he kidnapped her, so why would Chucky want kids? Or he just goes to that, he means kids at the end. Um. I mean, you know, it wasn't like, Gwen wasn't planned or anything. I just call him Gwen. I'm not like Gwen or Gwenda. It's, it's Gwen. Uh, I, I call him, that's what I call him at least, because it kind of shows that he's Gwen at the end. But, um, so he's talking about, um, I'm, I, I think he's talking about the, um, the ring that, um, Tiffany found at the beginning of Bride. Um, I'm not sure if that's exactly what he's talking about, because that's the only ring I can remember, is the ring that, um, Tiffany was talking about, and, uh, I know exact, I remember the exact name of, um, the person that Chucky was talking about, they killed some person named Vivian Van, Van Pelt, or something like that, yeah, I remember what the name is, I'm pretty sure that's how it's pronounced, but, it's it's an interesting thought. I'm not sure if that's exactly like what it'll be, but it's pretty interesting to think about. So now that all the Chucky stuff is out of the way, I'm gonna showcase some fan art that was sent in by some of you guys. First thing was sent in by Jackson. He said, "Look at my drawings, please." And so I will be doing just that. The it's kind of like the uh, legacy one that I showcased some time back. I like how the font is or like the um like how he made the like word like the lettering i think i thought that was pretty cool and it stays true to the you know original like i don't know i think that looks really cool though just one thing it looks kind of like nicholas cage i'm not insulting or anything but if you look at that first one it kind of does look like um nicholas cage but i like it it's it's nice it's a really nice photo and then there's the next one where it shows Child's Play 2 and the, the clown. I, I like the way the clown was drawn and just the detail and both the clown and Chucky. It's really nice and it just looks so sinister. I, I really like I really like the Child's Play 2 one. And then there's Child's Play 3 which that one looks pretty cool. Like how there's blood dripping from his mouth and he looks he looks mad just like from you know the Child's Play 3 poster and I, I really like that one especially the way he you know made the like lettering and the number stay true to the you know to the like poster I thought that, that was really creative but for that next one Bride of Chucky and it's basically you no know, Chucky and his bride and it does stay pretty true to poster I, I really like it it's just like he looks kind of like kiss like I said I'm not insulting but it, it's really cool I really like that one but overall if I had to choose one of those that I just showcased I would have to go with Child's Play 2 because that one just Chucky looks so scary and I, I really like that one just the clown the detail in the clown and Chucky are both really good but I'm not done yet he sent me uh, two more photos. He says here's more, and so there's one from Seed, and it's yo know, the eye. I'm assuming that's the eye from like you know the the poster, like not the like the cover art, but another poster that was you know for Seed Chucky. And then I mean I actually I don't think it really has anything to. I don't think it is that has anything to do with that poster, but it still looks pretty nice in this curse where he's just holding a knife behind his hand, and then I can see I can kind of see something in the corner there, like a uh, something's foot. It, I don't know. It, it looks really nice though. 
I really, I really like it. It looks really cool. So, I, I really like these drawings. Like I said, Child's Play 2 is my favorite out of all of them. Like the one they did for Child's Play 2. But I also really like Curse of Chuck. I felt that that one looks really nice as well. Really well drawn. So, for this next thing, it's not like a fan art that I sent it by any of you guys, but Iron Wolf Network sent me a. Um, another assumption thing, like a thing where I keep assuming, where like, it's something that was posted by someone and they're assuming what Chucky might look like, and he asked, what do you think? And so here's what the person assumes, like, what Chucky might look like in his next film. Now, to be honest, I, I think this looks nice. It, it looks... Like, as you can see, like, it shows, um, the guy down there, like, on the picture, or, like, the Instagram. If you want to check out more of his stuff, check it out. I believe he also did the, um, the other fan art that I showed earlier. The one where the, um, had, like, the wallpaper and stuff from Charles Lee Ray's apartment. He, I believe, he also did that one. But, I think this looks really cool. It, he looks very like he, he looks pretty scary. I, I think this does look pretty good and I feel like it's well made. Yeah, it stays like really true. Like this one also stays really true to the original. I really like the way that one was made. This next thing was sent to by Tech Cool Gaming and he said, My Chucky drawing. So this one is like a seed of Chucky drawing. You know that like doll like the uh, Sea of Chucky um, replica that was like only a few of them were sold but they're like really hard to find now and when you can find them they're like over a thousand dollars yeah it's kind of like what this drawing is like and this is really good I like this like I'm zooming in right now and like you see like he has like a middle finger up and this the detail in his face is really good and I, I really like this picture and then I like the like you know the way there's like a drub like a blood drop and the Y on Chucky I think that's it's really cool and I like the detail in this photo so if you guys enjoyed be sure to like and subscribe to join Sinister Posse and become a slasher and share sharing really helps my channel it helps me and helps all those who are trying to, to get the latest of Chucky so I, I really appreciate all of you guys and I appreciate you guys sending in all the fan art and I, I appreciate all of it and I've been enjoying showcasing some of this stuff because it's really good stuff and I mean I'm sorry that this video is long I, I wasn't expecting it to be this long again but I, I'm glad that I'm making longer videos because you guys seem to be enjoying it and like they're doing really good so I'm I'm very happy to do more of these longer videos, but like, so like when a video is longer than it usually is, I will still post it. But if it's, you know, shorter, I'll definitely still post it for you guys. I, I'm real happy you guys are enjoying this content. I'm having a lot of fun making it, and my, my channel's been doing so well lately, and I'm glad that I've... You know, I have you guys as a fan base, and it's just so exciting to know that there's people that are watching all my videos, and it's it, it makes it so much more fun knowing that I have a fan base, and I'm very thankful for that. So I just want to say that real quick. I I'm gonna go now, though. I'll see you guys again with some more Culture Chucky news, David King, it, whatever. I talk about that as well as Jeepers Creepers Steam when I talk about that. I might talk about Jeepers Creepers 3 soon, I'm not exactly sure because there has been quite some stuff that has been getting released ever since they started production on it. As for Stevie King's It, I'm not so sure about. I'm not so sure what that's, you know, where that stands because I haven't heard much, I haven't really seen much like, I get a lot of like, you know, stuff that shows up on my Facebook regarding, you know, Stevie King's It, but I don't really check my Facebook. Well, 
that's a lie actually, I check it, but I'll check it as often as I used to, but I'll try more so that when, you know, there's like, Stevie King It content, or, I mean, Stevie King It info, or Jeeves Creepers 3 info, I will be there to say something about it. But anyway guys, I'm out of here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, you know, even though it's longer, I am still having a lot of fun making these longer videos. Regardless of how long they are, I'm having a lot of fun, and don't forget to send me anything chucky waiter or actually anything horry waiter If you have anything that is horry waiter I'll still take it. But I know a lot of you guys have been sending me all the Chucky stuff, and I really appreciate it. And I, I've been, I, I've been loving showcasing all of the fan art, and it's really good stuff. So definitely keep sending it, and I will see you, you all in the next video. Thank you for watching. Peace. Oh, <laughs>